Geralt found Ciri at last, on the Isle of Mists where the Elven Mage had concealed her. There was no time to rejoice, for the wild hunt descended on them. They fled, Ciri teleporting them to Kir Morin, where their friends awaited. The wild hunt arrived at Kir Morin soon after. A great battle ensued, and the fortress's defenders might all have perished had Ciri not demonstrated her powers. So sudden and violent was her outburst that the wild hunt was forced to withdraw. The battle was won, the war had barely started. Okay, so I accept that that narrow. <laughs> I kind of can't be at this point, unless it's Vesemir, you know, the ghost of Vesemir. Um, I still don't think it sounds like Dandelion. I Zerel guess. can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly, to no effect. I'll gladly argue with you about this. Some other time. Huh. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Siri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Zirel from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses, archmistresses of magic. You mean the lodge? I was gonna say before I was interrupted. Uh, I suppose they're trying to make Dandelion sound old, like he's retelling this from far in the future, and they only have like one old guy voice. That's my guess. Anyways, um, yeah, the lodge is in shambles. Many of the lodge's members are dead. The rest are in hiding. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, and Fringilla Vigo are likely still alive. And Francesca and Ida? Think they'd agree? I think they'll take convincing. Would you rather speak to Kira alone? That would probably be best. I absolutely want to involve the Lodge. Are you kidding me? The sorceresses are the coolest part about this game. Hands down. Don't trust the Lodge one bit, but doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, hmm. I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think. I've had enough of this! I won't be taken somewhere like a bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. She is right. We do need to protect her, but like, she needs to be part of this. You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Zirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, bollocks. Second, <laughs> if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly, and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go at after least her. Wait, try she to... We okay. must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You yes, saw Geralt! Happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Right? Fine. Thank you. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See I ya. like seeing Yennefer and Triss get along. Okay, so, so far the new plan is to get more magic power and train Siri. Who's training Siri? It's not Yennefer. She's going to be gone. Is it Avalok? 
He's the most adamant about training her. Does he know how? Like, I don't think it's Geralt. <laughs> it's not working, don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Oh, Geralt, please, not now. By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalar says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Um... Let's try hmm. this. There's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? <laughs> the Skellica druids have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! You'll regret that. <laughs> I love the father-daughter dynamic that these two have. Like, oh no, she's gonna fucking murder me. We'll see about that. Oh no. Uh, Get me. I don't know how to throw hot defeat Siri in a snowball fight. Okay, I can at least dodge. I don't know how to make a snowball. How do I make a snowball? Shoot, I should have chosen the other thing. <laughs> okay, okay. See, I keep dodging. Don't let the snowballs hit you. Do I have to be close enough that it might? Oh, shit. Good shot. Oh, I see. What if I'm just gonna lose because <laughs> I don't know how to make snowballs? <laughs> so they're like, you cannot do that here. Okay, but how do I make... I can't do that. How do I make snowballs? Uh, good shot. <laughs> okay, well... Listen, maybe I'll just let her hit me five more times and I will lose this thing. I do not mind losing a snowball fight to Siri. But it would be nice if I saw anything that said, like, interact with the snow or anything. I don't see any sparklies on the snow. I don't have any snow. Well... She does. Ah. And the only quest thing is Siri herself. So. All right. <laughs> I'm at Siri. I won't dodge. I'm playing nice. I guess I could pause and look up how you're supposed to do this, but like, eh, really care. Although it would be more fun if I could batter. So you know what? All right, the internet says simply interact with the snow piles nearby. <laughs> You'll regret that. I see no interaction options whatsoever. Simply my ass. Alright, it's fine. Siri, you win. Oh, oops. 
is my game buggy or something? <laughs> I feel like I am definitely supposed to have interaction tools. And I don't. Here's a, here's the snow pile. Here's a snow pile. No interaction. All right, where'd you go, Siri? Throw a snowball at me. <coughs> Good shot. I wish it could be a fair fight. I wish I could be actually attempting to hit her. I think it would be fun. Ah, I dodged out of habit. Oh, it might have hit me anyways. <laughs> All right, last one. I regret that. Siri, you won. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia defeated. Need to work on those dodges. Sure, I didn't let you win. Sure, you're not smarting from a defeat by a true maestro. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. That really works. <laughs> Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. Get her. Oh, she's gonna dodge it. No. <laughs> she noticed. No surprise attacks by you. Geralt. Geralt. Wake up. What? What? What's happening? Get up. We must go. I've saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. Bald Mountain. And guess who's the uh. guest of honor? Yeah, let me. Dunno. Yeah, tell me. Enlighten me. Imlirith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlirith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. Hmm. How do you learn all this? Imlirith? The Sabbath? Avilach. He told me of those who chase us. Claims knowledge itself can tip the scales. Come. We shall talk on the way. All right, let's do it. Lead on. Like hell, we're gonna go visit the Emperor first. Not until the game makes me. Ready? Let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the Defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri, who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlirith. She had decided he had to die. Well, let's see if we can pull that off. It is nice to finally be traveling with Oh, yeah, the hill with the weird tree. Okay, that makes sense. Did I ever make it to the top of that hill? Just remember there was some big monsters near it. The men at Crow's Perch. They spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the baron thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. He found uh, his wife, you know. took her away somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. You 
you actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imnareth attends too, as the crone's guest. Seems to be well. Havelark's a good tutor. We stand to find Imnareth here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest, to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. I am unsure how I feel about them using Sabbath for Let's the name of this. Down. I don't when know what all the, the connotations of the word are, right but... There. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I have no idea why. Okay, let me look at the map for a second, though. Where am I in Velen? Okay. Yeah, that's right, because I try going up there. Um, I vaguely remember. Okay. Well, let's do this. Geralt? Actually... Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalok's student. The other one. So that's not, I mean, that's not the leader of the hunt, because that's a guy whose name starts with E. But he's somebody else important. And also, the white one wants to serve the ladies. But he's an outsider. Yeah, this might be an uncertain welcome. Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fires down that way. Food, food, drink, and plenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. Okay, I guess we'll do and that thank then. Thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. I love that that dude with the flower crown and stuff with the crossbow. It's kind of amazing. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. They've Haven't only done, done it, it once. Long time, then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. Mentioned a gate, said we wouldn't pass. Only the chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount but never more than three. Let me guess, the young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant, but rare is the one who then stays in Velen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Hmm, that's interesting. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, wanderer? No need for anger. The white ones serve the ladies as we do now. 
We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelly, scared to death, and about eight years old. Stay calm. Your children. Why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Is never enough. Hmm. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. Um. Uh, no, we, we should don't. Be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Okay, so I was really hoping to not ever deal with these um, crones again, but here I am. All right, let's do some repair work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know how much I love the look of this armor, but it was way better. This is the stuff that um, Joanna gave me. And I extremely upgraded my swords, because now that I'm level 30, uh, stuff is a lot better than the level 22 <laughs> weapons I'd been using. So I am at least better equipped. Look, a child. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Johnny! Long time no see. Well, old B, you're back! Uh, and I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided though it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? Yeah, why are you here? What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse. Same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come, wander about, and... Go home with the rising sun. What about you? We gotta climb a mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you. But I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass. She is stubborn as you. Even more so. Bigger yeah, I think that's true. <sighs> Path to the peak starts there. Past the gate. But only old Thecla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Oh, good grief! You're worse than children! Three souls <laughs> are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. 
<laughs> Pretty dang good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the crones. Big bloke, in full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? He killed my friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Yeah. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again, someday. Thanks, Johnny. Moons are rising, owls hoot, fires just... Oh, wrong way? This way. Yeah, I feel like the play here is to just see if Thecla will let us go up directly. At worst, at worst, she's only going to let Siri go. That makes me nervous, that thought. Who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. Yeah, let's Siri. take Siri's lead what? here. Who wouldn't want to meet the ladies? My companion comes with me. Hmm. <laughs> What else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. Aye. <laughs> Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. Yeah, that's kind of what... What's this about? What have you chosen her for? Talent. Each year, three chosen have the honor to meet the ladies. What happens after they've had this honor? When they return, they speak of the past no more. Joy rules them, and they start life anew. Mm. The lads were not the first to be chosen this day, but the moon hangs eyes, so she's like to be the last. I'm going with her. <laughs> He's fire in his gut. What do you say? He's determined. He loves the girl, but he seeks to hide it from us. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right, you may appeal my choice. But to do so, you must best the challenge. Okay. What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must <laughs> ascend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. What's the catch? The water's deep. The water's murky. Sure. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Oh boy. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defier's Aura. Now, bring me the coin. Alrighty. Something's afoot. Something's Can I just nigh. jump here, or... Oh, it shows me a path down. Alright. I was just gonna jump. 
but I don't necessarily want to lose all my health by jumping. <laughs> like if I jump and die, it's like, oh, okay. Don't I have like an orca potion or something that'll give me longer breath? Okay, let's go around this way. I don't know if I, I've heard about it from like the tooltips and stuff. I don't know if I have it or if I've made it, but I might as well look. Because I have a lot of potions, although these also include things. Okay, Wolvenauer, Griffin, De Decoction, those are the names of those. I am specifically looking for this Orca. And if I don't have it, I'm just going to go in anyways. Killer Whale, there it is. Zoom. Yeah, I see you, Drowner. Okay, let me look. Okay, swim. I feel like it's, yeah, it's gonna be deep down here. No worries. I like this, uh, I like this potion. That is handy. What do you want? Can't help but be curious. What's at the summit? Tell him. The ladies dwell there. But only the Chosen may look upon them. I know that. I want. You'll learn nothing else here. Hmm. Alright. Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So... Can I keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go! Mm -hmm. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop, one. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a Zubo. Yeah, it was literally no problem at all. The last of the chosen will now ascend the mount to the peak to meet. I am unconvinced that this is a good idea. Because even if we do get up there, then we what have to fight Imlarith? That seems like a bad idea. In the presence of the ladies, who might probably hate me, I don't know. And yet here we are. Like, the thing is, we don't have a plan. What's the plan for taking down Imlarith? Just, you know, swinging swords? Being better at swords? I don't know, guys. Hey! Ah! Okay, well, here we go. What's your name, girl? What's yours? 
Your name don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. Can you? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers, Oren. A death sentence. A what? A fucking lady. Don't know who you are, bud, but you're gonna regret this. Oh yeah, Quinn. Oh, wrong. Don't stand in the fire, girl. One tough son of a bitch. We've no time to lose. I'll turn to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalarch said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> no. Ha. Oh no. Tide. Damn it. Two out of three. That was a two out of three. Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain. You face the crones. Hardly a challenge. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. You too. I am very curious that that lady betrayed us. Like, did she know what would happen? She said that the game didn't know what it meant. I must get down there. So she didn't actually want Geralt to succeed. Um, okay. I am stoked that I am running Siri though. Oh hell. I guess I must jump. Oh Jesus. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's go. I still have that really awesome amulet. That was pretty sweet. How was he? He lived a life of love and knew no bitterness. Yeah, this is how they maintain their immortality, isn't it? But what's interesting is the idea yeah, that they yeah. send back some kind of simulacrum that then leaves Velen, I guess? And that's how they convince the people to keep doing this. Right? The whole, like, naked ladies, witches doing a Sabbath thing, though, so it's just, it's just like, oh god, guys, this game. Welcome, child of the Elder Blood. We knew you would return. Your taste lingers on our tongues. You've talked enough. Okay, I admit, I am so. Oh my god, I'm doing no damage. Um. Oh, I do have my R1. Don't I? Ah, uh, it isn't working here. Shit. Oh, I am so fucking dead. 
does seem to help. Like, I only have a steel weapon. I don't have silver. Oh, jeez, that's frightening. Okay, so that catches me and I get... I gotta charge through. That's my main attack here. But, uh... It's hard sometimes no. to set it up. Because if they're too close, I don't charge. I just swing. Get out. Get out. At least she does auto-region of her life. But like, oh man, this is... That was a good hit. Do I have to have stamina to do the hold? Okay, yeah, and then it uses the whole bar. That's why I can't. I gotta keep an eye on that. If I could get one of them down. But it's hard for me. It's so hard to, like, aim this attack. Yeah, and getting in for those melee swings does more harm than good. What a creepy-ass, like, arena, though. trying to go for the Bruis here, kind of primarily just because she's the one I'd hit a couple times first. And I'm actually kind of making progress on her. She also has a pretty intense melee hit, so I... Oh. I was like, can I get both of them? answer is like, maybe. Okay. And I'm gonna set up for it. Yeah! Okay. If I stay out of their range, wait for my thing to charge up. Oh, one. Damn. It's hard to aim. Just my luck, it's gonna be something like the Sisters in Final Fantasy where you gotta bring them all down together. So, I'm hoping that's not the case. Ah, oh, wrong one. Trying to get her. Whoa, what was that? Okay, so I can't, I really can't do that. I wanna keep trying just in case, because it would be awesome. The way they disappear into the drink, though, is super creepy. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, making progress on her. Oh shit. Okay, yeah. Remember, I can also just run. She's got to be close. Eh? Stop getting toxic. I think maybe a couple more hits on her. And if the others don't hit as hard melee, I may be able to use my sword more on them. I haven't really tried just because. There's so many of them so far. Oh, 
don't like that. Wrong one. Damn it. Okay. Briss. Go. Ah, oh, another hit, huh? So close. Why is Geralt never given Siri a silver fucking sword? That's what I want to know. Okay, let's aim. No! What the fuck? I was looking at her. Oh, that did it. Okay, good. Yeah, so I don't have to use only this. I think they're doing something that no, takes my stamina. Me. Sorry, Velen, you're gonna need a new, uh... I don't really feel bad for the peasants and Velen about this because I've been getting the good end of this deal. You know, like, this is always... These ladies have always fucked them over. So... Disappearing into the fog. I mean, I guess, like, I can talk. <laughs> I've almost got you. I'm out to play. There we go. Goodbye, Weaverus. Now it's just the Whisperus who is going to be a pain in the fucking butt, I can tell. Oh, shit. Because of stuff like that. Stop disappearing. It's like, I gotta press for the advantage while I can, but also... Jeez. I don't want to die here, because I got ahead of myself. Okay, but once she appears... Yeah! And then she's stunned a little. Let's see attack. Gotcha. Ha. Oh, that is so satisfying to take those ladies down. Extremely satisfying. Hopefully it sticks. I'm like half ready for them to like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Damn it. Are the others dead at least? at the summit. Gotta be. Alright. Well, I am at... That was still incredible, and now I guess we've got the one lady, the one crone to go find later. Oh, anyways, alright. Um, I am gonna be, uh, finding Imlarith next time, despite what a bad idea it seems like. 
But hey, I took out two out of the three crones, and that also seemed like a bad idea, so... Who knows? Maybe it will go great. See you all the next time. Bye!